for our final segment tonight, we have our random wildcat of the week. Um, this week, I decided to uh, change the format a little bit. I'm just going to start saying like statements about uh, this player's career, and you can, uh, you know, fire some guesses. And then when you have him, I will let you know. Um, Sounds good. Player was on the team the last time Villanova lost to Columbia. Player is a he's not Brazoya. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, multiple time, uh, a multi Big East regular season and tournament champion. Darren Hilliard. No, you don't uh, say it like that, like it's a guessing game. <laughs> like, uh, he, uh, two national championships under his belt, one as a player. Oh, Daryl Reynolds. No. He, okay. He's been mentioned in this podcast earlier tonight. Henry Love. Yes. Henry Love. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I thought that was too obvious, but then I realized. No, I was, I was going to look for a way to bring Henry up, uh, you know, to poke fun at Seton Hall regardless. Um, but then uh, Brian way, brought him up as the, uh, the most handsome coach in college basketball. Um, okay. But yeah, bar, Henry Love. Uh, he was a freshman in 2012, obviously graduated in 2016. Um, you know, I, and then he was a grad assistant for uh, the next two years. So he was on the staff for uh, 2018's title. Uh, we drove to New York together once uh, after the 2018 title to go open the stock exchange. That was fun. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk some Hank. I think this is our first, uh, this might be the first walk on that we've had as our, uh, our random wildcat of the week. I think, um, I, think, I think you have to start with he was part of the bench mob, which was to me, I think, the first nationally like recognized bench mob. That's what Being I was saying. Say. Yeah. Yes. Uh, everybody likes Farrell. to point to Mammoth Universities when they kind of like went viral. And when that happened, I remember Jay Wright was asked about it. He's like, Well, we kind of did it first. Yeah. Um, but then we started getting good. So I had I had to tell the guys like lay it down a little bit. Was and, Henry uh, the one that would do the bow? Yeah, Henry would do oh. the bow. Uh, <laughs> after, the, like, after the Syracuse uh, Arch game. Arch the, three. Yeah, Arch yeah. three. I remember that bow. Uh, Farrell was the uh, spyglass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the gif is out there still. Yeah. Uh, um, but no, good. that's what I was going to say. Like, actually, like, it's funny. I was just like, that was such a key part of the rise of that early or mid 2010s yeah. Villanova team. And that was, that was Hank. That was Farrell. That was Nick McMahon. Um, eventually Kevin Rafferty coming in a little bit later. Um, but like that, I mean, I got nothing but love for Hank. He's the best. Uh, and like just be a huge part of the bench mob. Um, did he score? I want to say he scored his senior Yeah, they all year. scored. I think they all got baskets at some point. Yeah. The I, he might have scored class. in the tournament, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I, he I definitely mean, he definitely hit a three uh, senior night against DePaul. Okay. I'm pretty okay. sure there's like a video of him hitting like a step back three. There's one where where Daryl and Mikhail or Daryl and Josh are in the background, and whatever walk on hits it, they go. But I think that's Pat. I think okay. that's Pat. I think it's Pat. Pat. There is a that's night where yeah. I might have that clip. Board, so so yeah. keep talking yeah. for a second. Um, are you? But yeah, I, you might be thinking of 2018. I'm thinking that was of DePaul. Tom Liebig. That was Liebig and Denny yeah. who had the jumpers. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the yeah. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you all kind of blend together for me. Uh, no. Um, but, yeah. like 2013, uh, 2014, drained his first career three-point free goal versus a win versus Ryder. So okay. He did, yeah. We play Ryder in a few weeks. All right. I do have the clip. Oh. But, Willie, you're going to have to walk me through uh, the Upload it. Part. Yeah. Upload it to the brand. And then uh, same way. The same, yep. The same way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be super really high exciting. quality, high depth. This is really right? exciting for our uh, for our audio only listeners. We're finally one of those podcasts that plays clips. Yeah. And, uh, oh, true. Whoever's driving to work is like, I bet this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's how we know we made it. But yeah, um, like I said, crazy accomplishments. Uh, being a member of that team, obviously scout team for uh, for the Final Four run that year. Um, grad assistant for a couple years. Had a, uh, I think it was like, was it like a private equity or, or some sort of? It was like, yeah. He worked at a startup with some type startup of thing that was working with hoop, hoop stuff. To help, uh, or like the goal, I think, was um, 
athletes, uh, in, you know, trying to build uh, generational wealth uh, while you're playing as opposed to, you know, just whatever else. Yep. Um, and then got into coaching with Neptune at Fordham. Yeah. Um, he was like a grad assist. He was a uh, video ops coordinator on, uh, on Kyle's Fordham team and then stuck around and was promoted to an assistant coach, I think, this season. Um, and yeah, they, uh, big win against Seton Hall the other night. So, uh, shout out Hank. 